Hello, it's Amanda from IDPN, the ID Photographer Network. Today we're going to walk you through the process of using layer masks, so we'll get started. If Photoshop layers are like a series of pieces of tissue paper or transparencies of various thickness and opacities stacked one on top of each other, using layer masks is a bit like getting out a pair of scissors. It allows us to clip those layers so that they only show through in specific places. However, unlike a pair of scissors, layer masks are non-destructive. We can always paint on more paper on any layer, or we can clip it away again. If you look at our layers palette here, you'll see that we have two layers with layer masks on top of our background image. I like to think of the black on a layer mask as the hole and the white as the paper. That works for me, something else might work for you. So anywhere where there's paper is where that layer will show up. You can see that here. If I turn this layer on and off, you'll see that it's a skin sharpening action from Totally Rad, um, and it's only on her skin, only in the white places. So when I turn that on and off, you can see that's the only thing affected. So let's say we wanted to sharpen up the bouquet. So we've applied a local sharpening action with the layer mask on the second layer here. If I choose a white paint and paint it over the bouquet, the sharpening will appear. And you can see that on the white here. Now you might think that this sharpening is too strong. You can either change the opacity of the paint itself here, or you can change the, the opacity of the entire layer right here. So we can slide that down to something that looks more reasonable. Now you might think, well, we'll sharpen in her braid also. And then maybe you think, eh, I don't want to do that. All you have to do is go over here and click on the black paint, or you could just use the X key to swap them. And then all you have to do is paint it right back out, out again. You can see it's gone away. You can kind of use that as a map for where your, your layer mask is. Once you have the image the way you want it, you can flatten your layers by going to Layer, Flatten Image. You can now save your image as a JPEG. Saving as a JPEG means that you can print or upload the image anywhere, but you should only flatten and save if you're sure you're done with the edit the way you like it. And you're done. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope you learned something and be sure to check out the rest of our videos by subscribing to our channel or visiting our resource library and the blog listed in the description below. Thank you again from IDPN, the I Do Photographer Network at www.idophotonet.com.